Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Hodges, Associate Professor of Pediatric Urology at Wake Forest University School of Medicine. I'd like to talk a little bit about my research about uh, toileting problems in children. There's been a lot of actually news lately about a lack of uh, a lament about the lack of uh, research into potty training and how it affects toileting issues, uh, which is timely because we actually just completed a study that in investigated just that fact. What we had noticed in our clinic is that children that trained very early had a higher incidence of toileting problems, uh, as well as children that trained very late, and we wanted to investigate what the causes were. What we did is we investigated uh, 112 children over ages 3 to 10 and looked at uh, what ages they trained and whether or not they had toileting problems. We compared two groups, uh, a group of kids that came to my clinic with toileting problems, as well as kids that presented to the emergency room or pediatrician's office without toileting issues, they, they presented for other issues. What we found was interesting. Children that trained before the age of two had th an over three times the risk increase of toileting problems and accidents than kids that trained between two and three. Kids that trained later also had a higher incidence of accidents. We investigated closer and we found that the link uh, that was associating the accidents in the early and late group was constipation. The kids that trained very young tended to hold um, their, both uh, their urine and their stool and became constipated, which led to accidents. Of the seven children that trained after three, all seven uh, were completely constipated, and when that was treated, uh, their accidents resolved. So what can we take home from the study? Actually, there's four very important points. Number one, this was the first study to investigate toilet training age, uh, toileting problems in children, and the link of constipation, which we think was novel. Secondly, there is no s magic number for toilet training. It's, the age is not the important thing. The important thing is actually the constipation. So while children that train early tend to hold more, and so we encourage uh, training later, you can train a child at any age when they're ready, as long as you aggressively treat constipation and make sure they're not full. Now the catch is people often miss constipation. Pediatricians and other doctors may not even diagnose or treat it because they go by the International Children's Continent Society guidelines, which define constipation as um, rare or hard bowel movements. In children, constipation, what we found in the study, meant they don't empty their bowels completely or on time. The stool accumulates and then causes potty problems. It's very important that if a child is going to have potty problems, that someone investigate and look for that specific type of, of constipation. It's also very important that we don't force potty training, let children train at their own pace, and treat constipation immediately when it arises.